Hey guys, welcome to my channel and this video is for everyone who wants to know about how to start preparing for AWS certification, where to find exam details, materials to study and most important where to find guided labs to do practicals. So stay with me till the end of the video to get all this. Starting with the first question, where to find exam details. Now you can find exam details on this website, aws.amazon.com slash certification. If you scroll down on this website, you'll find a section where it talks about certification exam guides and details. Now, depending on what certification you are trying to prepare for, you will select the option. For example, if I'm preparing for AWS Certified Security Specialty, I'm going to select that and selecting the option would right away bring you to the page that holds complete information about that particular exam. If I scroll down, I will be able to see the exam guide. So let me select this and open up. Reading this will give you complete information about the exam. And if you scroll down onto this page, you will also find additional resources that you can prepare for the examination. Most of these resources are offered for free from skillbuilders.aws website. Second question is where to find materials to study. So if you're looking for materials to study, you don't have to visit various websites to do so. You can easily do it with the help of this website that is awstash.com. Using this website, you can easily search for various kinds of content across multiple levels for any specific topic. Let's say I want to search for Elastic Block Store, EBS. So I can search videos for EBS and I can search across various levels as you can see here. To understand how these levels work, level 100 is foundation, 200 is intermediate, 300 is advanced and 400 is expert. To understand, level 100 assumes that you are very new to the topic and you have no experience at all. So this is going to be a foundation. If you're going to watch videos or read the blogs about it, it assumes that you have absolutely no knowledge about a specific topic. Whereas level 200 assumes that you have introductory knowledge of the topic and these kind of blogs or videos will go through the details of service features. It will talk about best practices and demos. Level 300 assumes that you have some familiarity with the topic but you may or may not be directly involved in implementing that solution or may not have direct experience working with it. Level 400 assumes that you have already implemented a solution on your own and you are comfortable with how the technology works across multiple services, architectures and implementations. Knowing all these levels can be very useful to decide on what kind of content you want to consume. Since all the AWS stash is divided into these four levels. Now this can be also useful if you are going to read some blogs, you will find out that most of these blogs, they mention what level the blog is about. So this can be very useful for someone who has just started preparing or someone who is already coming with an experience. Third question is where to find guided labs. You can easily find guided labs from this website workshops.aws. These labs, they span across multiple services and also multiple levels. I can easily search through by using this search bar. Let's say I want to learn about AWS networking, you can see here it shows two workshops. Let us choose the second one, networking workshop. And you can see here, clicking on this particular link will take you to the page. We'll do that. Also, if you have a look, it mentions the level which says level 300. Now, if you click on get started, it will take you to the page. The page is going to talk about a scenario. And also, this is going to guide you to complete and understand how networking works within AWS. As I said, these are guided labs. So if you are going to perform it, it talks about a scenario and it's going to give you a step-by-step -step approach to completing the lab. 